Hi, my name is Kasper Sønder. I'm 31 years old. I am Danish and I live in Aarhus, Denmark with my Hungarian girlfriend. Hi, my name is Evelyn Nagy. I'm 24 years old. I come uh, from Hungary and I've been living in Denmark for five years, mainly as a student. I think it was fairly easy. The main thing when you start out is uh, being able to communicate and both my girlfriend and I spoke uh, quite good English so we had that down from the start and uh, also just as importantly I think we were both willing to adapt to the cultural differences that we had. It took some time but we we worked on it, we talked about it, we were open about it so it wasn't that difficult. I think uh, also the people in the international community in Aarhus are very inviting and uh, inclusive. So getting to be a part of that group uh, through my girlfriend was quite simple because people wanted people to fit in. I would say it wasn't the easiest. It took me approximately uh, six months to to get used to the environment and how Danes think and behave and it was mostly because I felt like Danes were more isolated and uh, because it just felt like there were two uh, groups mainly the Danes and the internationals One in my experience, uh, I also thought that it was uh, less likely that Danes would uh, initiate a conversation with internationals. So, I think in terms of our relationship, my girlfriend and I, the biggest cultural differences that were apparent in the beginning were that we came from from cultures with different gender norms, where my girlfriend comes from a country in Hungary where there are quite classical gender roles with the woman staying home, raising kids, being in charge of the home basically, and the, the man being the provider, where in Denmark I've been raised in a different way that it's more equal, not necessarily completely, but that both the man and woman work and both the man and woman are responsible for the home and future kids so those are things that we've talked about and we have worked to find out where like what's our common ground in this what we feel comfortable in in terms of the Aarhus international community that i've uh, become a part of in part uh, because of my girlfriend i would say the biggest cultural differences is just how open people are it's very easy to approach internationals and strike up a conversation because most of them are open to, to that. Whereas in Denmark, uh, normally people are quite closed off. We don't really want to talk to strangers. Uh, we certainly don't want strangers coming up and talking to us. Um, and Danes will go quite far sometimes to avoid social confrontations with people we don't already know which is very different from what I've uh, experienced in the Aarhus international community. I think it's probably a result of, you know, all the internationals are people who come to a new situation and they need to build up a new social circle. They, they need to be social. They need to create a community for themselves. So that's why they're very open to, uh, to people who want to actually take an interest in them. I think that's very great. I would say uh, one of the main one was that Danes mind their own businesses and that uh, you can basically be whoever you want to be. Like you can wear anything and it won't be noticed. It won't be talked about just uh, because that's not what it, it is important. One of the main uh, cultural difference was also that uh, 
the majority of of uh, Danes uh, speak great English, like uh, at official authorities or when I had to do my official papers, everybody spoke uh, great English. So that's also one of the reasons why internationals uh, struggle learning the language because simply because everybody speaks. I started hanging out with a lot more international students than I ever have before because of my girlfriend who had friends in, uh, in those circles. So I got to meet uh, a lot of interesting people from cultures I didn't know much about before. I also started going with my girlfriend to international nights, which is uh, some local international gatherings or parties. And I even went on an uh, Erasmus Plus uh, youth exchange to Sarajevo which is something I would have never considered that I, I didn't even know was an option before I started meeting with internationals. At the beginning, uh, I only had friends from my class who were basically only internationals and uh, came mainly from uh, Eastern Europe. And also the, the place I moved to was a dormitory where, where only internationals lived. I started meeting uh, more Danish people through my boyfriend when he introduced me to his friends and, and family and that's when I started getting more involved with, with them and uh, eventually through the Danish shooting when I started going to projects that's when uh, I met more Danish people who eventually actually become my friends. Additionally, uh, getting a job where I get to interact with uh, locals uh, help, help me understand Danes much better, how they think. And that also actually helps me uh, acquire the language a bit faster. <laughs>